Good evening and welcome um, tonight to uh, Night Prayer uh, on this Thursday and it's um, lovely to be with you this evening as we gather. I invite you to grab a New Zealand prayer book if you've got one lying around um, or you can find the link to a digital version of the New Zealand prayer book so I invite you to just get one of those in front of you um, otherwise you can just um, join in where you're invited and settle in. So. Uh, we're on page 167 in our prayer book. Let's just pause for a moment and be still as we come to pray. The angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labour that we haste to rise up early and so late to take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. Etefano, our help is in the name of the eternal God who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, we thank you for all that is good for our creation and our humanity, for the stewardship you've given us of this planet Earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love, which is unbounded and eternal. And so for a moment, I invite you just to think of something you're thankful for today, something which has brought you joy, um, yeah, just something that you're thankful for. Take a moment to bring that before the Lord and give thanks. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs that we have done. We have wounded your love. O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being. All that we are, have been, and shall be is known to you, to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame burn into us, cleansing wind blow through us, fountain of water well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. And so uh, I invite you to turn with me to Psalm 23 on page 170. Dear God, you sustain me and feed me. Like a shepherd, you guide me. You lead me to an oasis of green to lie down by restful waters. You refresh my soul for the journey and guide me along trusted roads. The God of justice is your name. Though I must enter the darkness of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You prepare a table before my very eyes in the presence of those who trouble me. You anoint my head with oil and you fill my cup to the brim. Your loving kindness and mercy will meet me every day of my life. And I will dwell in the house of my God forever. So for tonight's reading, um, I'm going to turn to Luke chapter 7, and it's um, one of the assigned readings for our evening prayer, and it's a story of Jesus uh, meeting some people and doing something very amazing indeed. So let me share this with you from Luke 7, from verse 11. Soon afterwards, he went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd went with him. As he approached the gate of the town, a man who had died was being carried out. He was his mother's only son, and she was a widow, and with her was a large crowd from the town. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion for her, and said to her, Do not weep. And then he came forward, and he touched the bear, and the bearers stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, rise. The dead man sat up and began to speak. And Jesus gave him to his mother. 
Fear seized all of them, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen amongst us, and God has looked favorably on his people. This word about him spread throughout Judea and all the surrounding country. And I love these passages in the Gospels where we see Jesus doing incredible things, um, performing miracles, and in this case, raising the dead. And I wonder what it would have been like for those people who were with Jesus at that time. Uh, we see that Jesus drew great crowds and he kind of became famous. Um, you know, there was no Instagram um, then, but word spread about Jesus all around the country. And because he was compassionate and because he could do only the things that God could do. And, uh, and we see him raise the dead. It's an incredible um, passage. And um, I found this quote which kind of resonates um, with the story for me. And this idea that um, what really matters for us in our spiritual lives is us actually meeting Jesus for ourselves, us getting to know him for ourselves. And the other day, Ed, in one of his reflections, was sharing about um, how like the most important thing is for us to personally know Jesus and to connect with Jesus. And I found this wonderful quote um, that I want to share with you from a guy called Frederick Buchner. He says this, a Christian is one who points at Christ and says, I can't prove a thing, but there's something about his eyes and his voice. There's something about the way he carries his head, his hands, the way he carries his cross, the way he carries me. I love that. Um, this idea of, you know, I can't prove Christ. Uh, the best way to prove him is to meet him, the best way to know that he is legit, that he is real, um, that he is God, is to meet him for ourselves. And I think that's the invitation for all of us um, every day, is to meet this Jesus, to meet him in the Gospels, to meet him in prayer, to meet him uh, wherever we can. And so I hope for you tonight, as we pray, that you can have a meeting with Jesus. We're just going to take some time just to be still and um, I'm going to play a song and this song is called Not in a Hurry and it's by Will Regan so just enjoy this
I love that um, the sentiment in that song, you know, I'm not in a hurry and um, I'm not in a hurry when I'm in your presence. This idea of just being with Jesus and getting to know him. I think it's, uh, it's an, awesome, um, an awesome thing. We can just take some time now to continue our prayers. We're on page 178 in our prayer book. Into your hands, O oh God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God, of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in your peace. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day. God's promise is fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace. For I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations. A light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. E te ariki ki a aroha mai, e te karaiti ki a aroha mai, e te ariki ki a aroha mai. Just for a moment now, I invite you to um, just reflect on your day, to pause and just take a moment um, to play it through your mind, to think of those things that have happened and just to notice where God was at work in your day, just to notice those things for which you're thankful for those moments of peace or those moments of connection and love with others and, um, and with God and just to give thanks for those things. So let's pause and do that. I invite you to think of the people in your bubble right now and I invite you to think of something you can pray for each of them. Just to bring them before God. There's been lots going on in the news. Um, you know, that we can read about or listen to and maybe there's something that's concerned you and there's a story that you've heard um, of something happening around the world and you want to bring that before God too and so I invite you to do that in prayer to pray for those on your mind around the world finally I just invite you to um Bring your own needs, your own concerns, something you would like to bring before God. Just quietly now, I invite you to do that. And let's bring all of our prayers together as we pray the prayer that Jesus teaches us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest. For it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. And I invite you to turn with me. Uh, we're going to use prayer number two this evening. O living God, in Jesus Christ, you were laid in the tomb at this evening hour and so sanctified the grave to be a bed of hope to your people. Give us courage and faith to die daily to our sin and pride, that even as this flesh and body and blood decays, our lives still may grow in you, that at our last day our dying may be done so well that we live in you forever. Amen. Christ be within us to keep us, beside us to guard, before us to lead, behind us to protect, beneath us to support, and above us to bless. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. Amen. Hey, it's been wonderful to be with you this evening, um, to pray with you, and um, I hope you have a really lovely and peaceful sleep tonight. God bless.